RBD Defense. A few days ago, the Directorate General Defense Purchase (DGDP) released a tender for the procurement of four Black Hawk helicopters. We knew that Black Hawk helicopters were coming to Bangladesh because the Fat Marshal Wakarun Zaman said so himself. But now we have more info regarding the model, the quantity, and even the delivery time. In this video, I will analyze all of that and take a look at Bangladesh Army Aviation's entire helicopter fleet to decide where the Blackhawks will fit in. We can see that the tender is for four refurbished medium weight helicopters and the model is listed as UH-60L Blackhawk. The UH-60L is based on the UH-60A with upgraded T700GE701C engines an improved gearbox and updated flight controls. The production of the UH-60L ended in 2007. The UH-60L is among the utility variants of the Black Hawk platform, meaning it can be configured for many different purposes, making it different from special purpose variants like the UH-60Q, which is just for medical evacuations, or the MH-60L direct action penetrator which is a gunship with no troop carrying or cargo carrying capacity. We can assume that our refurbished UH-60Ls will be from between 2005 and 2007. If this sounds concerning to you, I would like to inform you that the US Army themselves use refurbished UH-60L Blackhawks. The reality of the matter is that throwing away a utility helicopter after 20 years is not realistic and makes absolutely no sense. 20 years is not enough to make a utility helicopter outdated. Also, Bangladesh Air Force's C-130 transport aircraft are also refurbished and they have worked just fine. And those are a lot older than 20 years. During the refurbishing process, the engine, the interior, the gearbox and the avionics are all replaced with new stuff. The aircraft being refurbished is not something you should worry about. What you should worry about is the, how the aircrafts will be used. The tender is for four UH-60L Blackhawk helicopters. This is of course a small quantity. Although it is not completely unexpected since Bangladesh Army Aviation Group is a very small wing of the military and doesn't have the capacity to operate a large number of aircrafts similar to the Air Force. Although the Army Aviation Group definitely has the capacity to operate six or eight Black Hawk helicopters. Since the quantity is so small, it is very important how every single Black Hawk helicopter is used. Let's take a look at Bangladesh Army Aviation Group's current helicopter fleet and see where the Black Hawks fit in. There are eight training helicopters one Bell 206 and one Bell 406. Alongside training, they can obviously carry a very small number of people. Then there are six heavy utility helicopters, the Mi-17 SH. And lastly, there is two VIP transport helicopters, the Eurocopter Duofin. So the six Mi-17 SH are the only proper utility helicopters that the Bangladesh Army has. The Mi-17 SH is a heavyweight helicopter. Here is a picture of some Bangladesh military personnel standing next to a UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. And here's a picture of a man standing next to a Bangladesh Army Mi-17 SH. This should give you a good idea of the size difference between the Black Hawk and the Mi-17 SH. Using such a big helicopter like the Mi-17 SH for all utility related work is neither convenient nor is it efficient. So the Blackhawks will serve in the same category as the Mi-17 SH but at a lower weight. Now let's talk about how I think these Blackhawk helicopters can be configured. One to two of the Blackhawk helicopters can be configured for special operations. So carrying special forces members in and out of missions. Of course all Blackhawk helicopters are equipped with night vision by default. Uh, these special operations variants for the Bangladesh Army can be equipped with the M240 machine gun or even the M134D minigun. Black Hawk helicopters are of course very famous for being used in many high-profile special operations missions by 
famous special forces like the SEAL Team 6. And of course the Black Hawk is much better suited for stealthy special forces missions than the big ass MI-17 SH. So one to two of them can be configured for this purpose. The others can be configured for transporting cargo, basic utility use. One might even be configured for medevac, medical evacuation, so it would have a stretcher and medical equipment in it. The absolute worst case scenario is if one is configured for VIP transport. That would be the biggest waste, especially since the Eurocopter Duofins exist. According to the tender, the delivery time of these UA-60L Black Hawk helicopters is 12 months. So since the tender has been released, the UA-60 Black Hawks will arrive in Bangladesh in the next 12 months. Of course, the price is not listed in the tender, but I estimate that each UH-60L Black Hawk is going to be between 7 and 10 million USD. So around the 40 million mark for the whole batch. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you want to support my work, like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. We're getting close to 4,000 subscribers. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.